Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Schell from Bobon Veterinary Hospital and today I would like to talk to you a little bit about my hospital and introduce it and give you guys a bit of a tour. So this is our front entrance area and um, if you follow me I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a tour. Um, we basically deal with um, dogs and cats, that's my favorite species. I love all animals but uh, we have the most um, professional training with dogs and cats. Um, this is our client services area. It's Christmas time now, so we have a lot of Christmas decorations, and I build really close relationships with my patients, and a lot of my um, clients, they will send photographs, some of my favorite photographs of their pets, and I always like displaying them. Um, they send us Christmas cards, and we got a beautiful bouquet today from one of our favorites of patients, and we love them all, but it's just so special. We really love them. Um, this is our little desk where um, we will admit the pet and ask some questions, and. Um, we also do, we are paperless practice, so some of these files, like we're actually recycling them now, but we don't have any paper, so everything is all done on computers, so we're trying to conserve paper. And those shots is going to come with us. Um, this is our area where we um, just have uh, patients wait while um, they're getting ready for their exam. It's usually a very short wait because we have things quite organized, so it's only a th two or three or sometimes even less minute wait. Um, and dogs we usually keep in this area. We have a separate area for cats so that it's more comfortable. Um, we do a lot of acupuncture and Chinese medicine, so you can come over this way and um, we'll show you some of the behind the scenes as well. And your guests are always welcome to come in and we'll give you a proper tour as well. But this is my acupuncture and chiropractic room. Um, it's a very comfortable room. We don't have many um, medical equipment here. It feels more like um, a happy, um, like a home in this particular room. And it's not very um, uh, instrumental, so a lot of animals feel it's comfortable. We have the owners come in often, there's like four or five people, like the owners um, and plus the pets are in this room all at the same time. And I love it in there. And then we have separate um, laboratory area. This is where we do a lot of our in-clinic lab. Um, and so we'll run blood work while our patients are waiting or run feces or urine samples as well. And just down the hallway, we have one of our other examination rooms. And it's um, usually where I see my canine patients, my dog patients. So it's set up um, with tables um, that we can put blankets on. We usually make it more comfortable with non-grip surfaces for our animals. And I often have um, all of my clients in here at the same time. Um, sometimes three or four people plus the pets come in. So we like to explain everything to them. And then we have our ultrasound room. I do a lot of ultrasound um, on patients and that helps me get a better diagnosis. And that's our favorite machine. It's used every day, multiple times a day. And um, it's nice and quiet and dark in here, which is perfect for ultrasound. Um, we also have our pharmacy area. So we keep a limited selection of um, special pharmacy medications. And we also have a lot of herbal medicine here. And if you come in and look, this is um, some of the herbs that we smell. The smell is gorgeous. I wish you guys could smell this. Even Chutsi, look at her. She likes to smell all the herbs. It <laughs> smells amazing. She's used to eating a lot of um, medicinal herbs as well. But these are my, I really love working with animals in herbal medicine. They, it helps complement the Western medicine, the more traditional medicine very well. Um, in here we have on our admit room because this is where um, we admit some of our daycare pets as well as our overnight care pets and it's also an instructional room so if we need to give videos to people or in, uh, demonstrations to people we'll do it in this bigger room. Um, we have a separate cat room. I just finished an examination in here so it's just going to be clean. After an exam um, it's definitely a well used room so I go through a lot of things um, with my patients and um, you'll find a lot of display models are brought out. I like to make sure that people understand things. So the girls really find uh, I have, they have a lot of cleanup to do after I give an exam, but it's, it's all for educating clients. Um, and in back here, we have our um, treatment room where we do a lot of like blood collections or um, uh, skin scrapings or we'll do like dental cleanings in here. And one of my favorite rooms in the hospital, of course, is my surgery suite. Um, we are not allowed to go in there because you have to wear a cap and mask um, and right now the lights are out but um, definitely we'll um, provide some more pictures of, of inside surgery. I love it because it's a nice big room and I do a lot of um, literally like life and death work in there, life saving work in there uh, and I love um, being able to help animals that way. It's awesome. My team is really helpful. And I'd like to show you guys just the back area. Um, this is where we keep 
and it's just for a short period of time while they're waiting for their surgery and watching them recover. Um, we are allowed to have good access to them. They are on oxygen and their IV fluids. And we have a little bit of staff room and because it's Christmas time, <laughs> clients give us lots of yummy treats and cookies and my staff comes here to relax during the lunch break. And we have another favorite area of mine, which is the daycare and our um, uh, boarding center, like for overnight care for um, some animals that need to stay overnight. And so this is the rooms for the smaller dogs. And over in this side, we have the rooms for the bigger dogs. They're, they're walked outside a lot, as well as played indoors. And there um, is a nice indoor playroom for them as well as we take them outside for outdoor playtime. They love it in here. Who do we have in here? Hi. Little Teddy, I think he went home in there. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> so he's all, he went home for the night. Yeah. Took him for his last walk. Um, and so a lot of these animals just are here for the day and then they get to go home. But some of them are staying overnight um, if their owners are not able to pick them up or if they're um, uh, staying overnight on holiday. And so the dogs stay in there. And outside here is where we keep our kitty cats that stay overnight. And this is our little kitty cat room where we, we can go right inside here and sit with the cats and play with them. We have television sets, we have little scratching posts, we have nice little benches for people and pets to enjoy, um, but it's only cats in here. We don't like to mix cats and dogs unless they're from the same household, so that's a lot of fun. We're just in the process of doing cleanings. Um, right here is where we keep kitty cats if they are staying overnight. And oh, look at her. <laughs> this is little Mika. And she just had her dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. It smells like delicious cat food. Some, delicious cat food in here um, but inside of here um, we have videos for the cats to watch TV at certain times of day and um, there's bigger suites for the cats to stay if there's like more than one cat or if um, um, people just want a bigger space for their cat um, scratching posts clean water everything they're also of course kept out in the um, cat play area so that they can have outdoor exercise um, that is monitored as well we give them catnip and cat salads so that they can enjoy themselves. And this is our indoor um, romping room area. It's our play area for dogs. And it's so much fun. We actually let two or three or four sometimes um, compatible dogs in here all at the same time. They really enjoy playing. I love coming in here and just playing with the dogs. So does my whole team. It's a great fun adventure for them. Um, we also will do um, some educational instructional things inside of this room as well. So it's a very well used room. And we also um, do carry certain um, really good quality pet foods. Um, it's especially good for people who don't have the time to home cook for their dogs and cats. I really like um, uh, prescription diets that are specially uh, prepared for pets. So um, definitely like can help diagnose and prescribe certain foods, recipes, as well as commercial foods for your dog and cat. And same thing with treats and delicious um, types of chewing. Um, toys for dogs. It's very important for them to have stimulation and to help keep their teeth clean. And then we're back in here. This is our cat lounge area. So um, while we're waiting for the cat room to be cleaned up, um, we allow, of course, cats to have a nice dog-free area so that they can relax and have a good time. Um, and right now, because of Christmas, we're just um, having a lot of Christmas decorations in here, so we'll have to shoot another video when we're not having so much decorations. But definitely, we'd love to come and give you, we'd, we'd love for you to come so that we can give you a full tour. And if you have any questions, also check out our website at www.gobottomvet.com and definitely give us a call if you ever have any questions at 403-278-1984. Thank you very much. Good girl. Hey, Sasha.